guys morning so sorry if i'm looking a bit rough um but really excited because i'm just about to leave the house and we are heading off on our holiday to thailand this is going to be our first time in the far east and i'm just so excited so i'm going to be bringing you guys along with me for the journey and like i said please like don't leave horrible comments because i look really <laughs> really rough this morning but it's like 7 30 and we're about to get in a cab to Heathrow we're packed um we're dressed we're ready come along and enjoy the journey with us we made it to the uh, airport we're at Heathrow and we are at this place called the Diner Street restaurant and bar there it is <laughs> And we're going to keep the coconut lid. And then we pass that right, that over. And we are heading to the gate to get on our flight to the catch. When we arrived in Thailand, it was actually the Thai New Year celebration, which basically is a ginormous water fight. And it's safe to say that we stayed nice and dry in the taxi. Cat and we're in our room. Uh, we have had the longest flight and oh my god the journey's been so long to get here but we're really happy that we're here and I'm really tired and I'm fully aware that I've got no makeup on and I'm fully aware that I've got no makeup on and that I probably look pretty rough but be nice no horrible comments because I've been traveling for about 16 or 17 hours so yeah um, we have got the most amazing views and I'm going to take you outside and show you. This is the uh, little little plunge pool for our room. And then if we pan around this way, we've got the sea. Which is so cool. And then we've got our little veranda area. As you come in the room, you've obviously got the main sort of bed area, um, and there's this really cool little like benchy thing here, which is quite nice. Standard sort of table and chairs, and then we've got a really cool TV and a what's this? What's this bit here called? Aha! A mini bar, which is not free, so we won't be using. What's in our mini bar fridge? This is like cribs. We've got Coke and crackers and water, beer, more water, all sorts of things basically that we're not going to be using because it's probably ridiculously expensive. Okay, cool. So that is the sort of like mini bar area. And then, as you can see we've made ourselves at home and we've already unpacked and we've just got like a nice little wardrobe area and we've just put stuff in there and there's another wardrobe just over there as well which we've put our stuff in we're both really really knackered from all the traveling but um today's actually a water festival in Phuket so we're probably going to just chill in our room for now and have um something to eat we ordered some room service we just had to have a shower and get changed because i was wearing the same clothes for days and that's just not great so yeah we are gonna just chill here for the day and maybe have like an hour or so sleep hang out by our little pool thing and then tonight we're gonna go more than likely into petong because as i said it's a the water festival so it's Thailand New Year today and celebrate that they have a huge basically water fight and it's all going on in Patong tonight so that's where we're gonna go and I will probably I will not be taking you guys along with me <laughs> because 
I don't want to get my camera wet, but I will just update you on what that's like tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. So it's day two for us in Phuket. I didn't take you with me last night because we went into um, Patong Road. Oh no, Patong along, is it Bangla? Bangalore? Bangalore Road. Bangalore Road and it was an almighty water fight. I really didn't want my camera to get wet so I left all my valuables in our room. Um, it was uh, an interesting experience shall we say. We both got absolutely soaked. Um, I have no idea how clean or dirty as the case probably is that water was. It was pretty yeah, epic and but we had a really good meal actually at this restaurant last night in Petong and that was really really tasty. I probably had the spiciest yet freshest um, Thai curry that I've ever had so that was good. Um, it's a lovely day, I'm going to show you outside the view. Really nice. So lovely, beautiful. It's a little cloudy but it's nice. I love this view and I love that view even more because there's that lovely fellow I call the husband. Cool, so, okay, let's go and get some breakfast. Check out our view from breakfast. How incredible is this? Amazing. I just need to vlog this because this is Lee's breakfast. Get a nice good view, which is a curry. Very, very typical of <laughs> me. Um, I'm waiting on my egg for my breakfast. And we've got some fruit. And these things here are guava juice, which is actually really nice, so it's pretty good. Let's go. Let's go across the road. Okay. Okay. So we are at the beach. Subway. Ooh, where's the subway? That's so good. Subway over there. Cool. So we just got down to the beach of Karen, and it's really cool. We're gonna just chill and spend the day here. But there's um, a guy on a parasail there. But there's someone perched on the string, not actually like a t with a harness on, just on the string. That is so dangerous. Just stopped off for some lunch at this little restaurant place. Got no idea what it's called. Ramada. Ramada. Oh, I think it's a hotel, isn't it? Ramada. It's right by the beach. And check out our food. It's so good. It's mine. What have you got again, Lee? Uh, pork fillet with a peanut, lemongrass, chilli and lime juice. And you went for the spicy version? I went for the spicy version. Good luck. <laughs> like um, Inception, it's like a vlog within a vlog. <laughs> yeah, vlogception. Ram the ram the name so I'm just waiting for me and then um, we're gonna go and get a taxi to the Oh god. So <laughs> thank you sweet baby Jesus, we be in a tuk-tuk heading into Betong. Oh my gosh, this is so... <sighs> okay, so can we just make a special attention to all the lights and stuff that we've got set up in the back of this tuk-tuk? Like, whoa! And then what are these, Lee? My man's running a 2000 watt limited edition amplifier. He's got a 1500 watt amplifier as well. Four subs. I'm not sure how big they are, I reckon. Anywhere between seven 
still alive after that crazy ass flipping hook hook ride with the loud music. How nuts. We're in Hustle. Shopping. No, I don't want a. Yeah, this is. Yeah. How appropriate. <laughs> no, no. So we're going to just wander around and find some food. What do you think? How good? Good, bad? Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Mm. Tender and a whole bag of ribs for two pounds. For like two pounds? Two pounds. Amazing. Mm -hmm. These ribs are really good. Very good. But they're really hot. <laughs> really good. So any guesses what we've just bought, what we're going to have for dinner? Should I tell you? <gasps> Zoom in. Yeah, that's right folks. We will be having some crocodile. Okay, so I'm going to try the crocodile. Wish me luck. Don't be eating all my crocodile, woman. I just had crocodile. Okay, so we like are just standing here and we were just chatting and realised there's like a white parrot and I was like, is that real? I think it's a toy. But no, it just moved. It's real. Look. See? If I zoom in, if this man gets out of my way. It's a real parrot. Amazing. And he's just chilling there. But it's kind of sad because he's like tied up with a chain. Sorry I didn't finish the vlog last night. Basically, I think I had a case of food and too much beer coma. So I pretty much crashed and burned. Um, we're just waiting outside our room for the tuk-tuk because you can call and they have a tuk-tuk that comes and picks you up and takes you to reception. So we're just waiting for that and then we're going to get some breakfast. Lee's really tired because he did not sleep a wink last night and I've been up for hours but just chilling in the pool. So is that the tuk-tuk that I can hear? No, it's not. But anyway, I can't believe that I ate a bit of crocodile. It's weird. I don't know if I'd have it again, but it was quite strange. What do you think about the crocodile, Lee? It was alright, actually. Just glad I didn't have to catch it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Last night was pretty cool. I've, I want to go back there because we didn't get any dessert, and I still want to have some um, some fresh fruit, and I want to get the waffles and like the pancakes with Nutella. They look good. Okay, cool. Well. I guess we'll see you again after breakfast. Well, a couple of days ago, we found this, well, this thing for that tree. I don't actually know what it is. Some sort of fruit. I don't know. We're going to like break it open and see what it what it is. Ooh. What's it smell like? Is it a coconut? We've given up because we just don't know what it is. Maybe some kind of coconut mango hybrid? I don't know. Coco no mango. It's a coco no mango. But yes, if you know, then leave a comment down below to tell me what the heck that was. 
but we are going to head off now and get some lunch and go to the beach. Um, I haven't really done 